So what does n do in vim? Well, it takes you to the next result for a in buffer text search. Uh, so I guess first we're gonna have to figure out how to search. Welcome to day N on Vim Alphabet, a short series where we cover Vim A to Z. Uh, today we're talking about N, and N takes you to the next result when you are searching for a piece of text in Vim. Now, before you can use N, you need to know how to do a text search inside of a buffer. And for that, it's pretty easy. You just do forward slash. You hit forward slash and you type anything that you want to find. I will type N-U-N-C because that is a word uh, and hit enter. That didn't work because it's an exact search. So I'm going to hit slash again and do a capital N-U-N-C, enter, and it takes me to that word. Now I can do this for any word if I hit forward slash and Ahmet. Uh, it's going to take me to that word. Now, that's just how you search. So you can search for that. But the question is, what does n do? Well, n will take you to the next result. So there's that word duplicated because I have this pat paragraph um, just copy and pasted two times. So if I hit n now that I have completed a search, uh, it will take me to the next appearance of that word. I can hit it again and it'll take me to the next one that shows up. Now, if you want to move backwards, well, you just hit the capital N. Capital N is going to do the reverse. It's going to do a reverse search, a reverse repeat of your search. Um, and that's pretty easy. So if you need some help with N, you can just look at it here. Um, there are also other types of searches that you can do as evidenced by this question mark. And I will just leave that as an exercise for you. So N will repeat your forward slash or question mark searches. If you have any remaining questions or comments, feel free to throw those in the comments. I will put a link to the playlist as well as the next video. Thank you for checking this out. Tomorrow we will be covering O.